Cancer, I'm using the House of Shadows and the Wildwood Tarot and the Crystal Ball and the Charms. So let's get started with the charms. Ooh, the anchor, I don't know, the anchor has come out for everything. Okay, let's have a look what bead color bead is coming out for you. Okay, that's the um, <coughs> Solarplex. That's the Solarplex. That's jovial. When we've got a dog, then we've got the feminine sign. It's supposed to be like that. Like that. I'm sorry if I've got a cold. You've got the steering wheel of a boat. And you've got a lock. And you've got the anchor. Now, what do they all mean? Okay, a dog. That could mean that there is a pet coming in. Extension of the family. Wow. Something significant with a dog or a pet. It might bring you joy. Then you've got a, the woman sign. This could be you, but it could also be that you're meeting a woman. Then we've got the wheel, the steering wheel. Take the word wheel, wheel of fortune. So you might be going on holiday, you might be moving home. An end of a phase, a new beginning. Wow. They're very clear, these charms, but I usually I ha hold them up so that you can see, but I think you can see very clearly what they are, because I've got loads of them. Um, I would love to have more though. So, an end of a phase, a new beginning moving home, going up a next level in a relationship or in your career could be a promotion. Also, this is my karma uh, thing, the wheel. If you've done what goes round comes round, what goes up must come down. Because the wheel turns round. So it will always come back to the same point and start again. The ups and the lows in life. Okay, so um, you can see all the, these little spikes that could be the next level okay so if the karma coming back to karma if you've done good you'll get it back threefold same with negativity now what have you locked have you got secrets have you got a secret love have you got a wish um, that you want to unlock or a goal have you closed off your emotional chakra your solar plex okay Usually it goes together with your heart. So let's see what the cards say. Now this anchor is quite explicit. It's got the circle like a ring. Then you've got, if you do this, then you've got the ankh like a cross, right? So that's the ankh is luck and protection against evil. And then you've got the anchor coming home to a safe haven and yes to a question or a situation. Uh, and also steadfastness. You've put down roots. That could be because you are moving home. Okay, and you're unlocking your front door to a new home. Wow. Ooh, exciting, really. It's the first time the dog's come out. So let's have a look what the crystal ball has in store for you. I'm using a handkerchief. This the Dutch farmers in the olden days used to wear um, a red handkerchief. So I'm using something traditional to clean the ball with after each reading. <coughs> and it's always different. Although it's the same ball, it's, I see different things in it. Of course. Well, we, uh, you might be traveling as well because you've got the wheel could be by boat like I said moving home a holiday and I think you are because I see like clouds in the sky and you're going to a warm country because the facet that I see first is gold like the Sun 
joy will come back into your life also yellow yellow you're in the spotlight definitely you are in the spotlight you might even go to an island and I think you're connecting with people I see also a triangle so I think you're connecting with family and friends you sometimes see also a, an eye in the triangle so it might the eye is from Turkey <coughs> so I think you might be even going to Turkey perhaps but the travel is here but because of coronavirus it might there's something under laying well that could be the uh, the coronavirus because I see a plateau here and then I see something underneath it so the C could be C but something is underlying so that could be the coronavirus but there is a twist to it there is a twist to it um, there's two and there I also see a star so a wish is coming true I see a star this is the first time I've seen a star in the crystal ball so something is coming full circle again the wheel that star means that your goal or your wish is coming true and I also again I see a star from a different angle that's why I turn the bowl so that is a confirmation confirmation you're in the center of something again I saw a triangle with an eye with a circle in it like an eye but now I'm seeing a circle with a dot in it and that is prominent so let's see whether um, a spotlight card comes out cancer and that could be the Sun that could be the Sun that could be the moon that could be the star well, we saw two I saw two stars in there so there you go right. I'm sorry about that noise I had to start again there's children playing outside and sometimes they are so screaming somebody is murdering them okay and now the first card is the forest the lovers okay the lovers then we have the wheel of fortune then we have justice and then we've got the six of vessels six of cups and at the bottom of the card we've got the nine of cups wow then we go on to the house of shadows we've got the mountains star then we've got the star then we have the ghost Ooh. Eee, nice I love these cards they're great and what is at the bottom the, uh, the hand Ooh. Uh, usually the Lenamon has um, 36 cards okay and let's and this and these have 42 cards okay let's have a look we've got let's start let's go 
we've got the lovers, the forest lovers. So you might be partnering up again with somebody if you haven't been partnered up yet or if you've had a time of a pause of a relationship. So you might be forming relationships, love relationships or business. And you've got the mountain underneath it. So six means that you are in balance and you've got two twenty one here becomes a three. So that means be creative. Okay. Now the mountains um, means don't make mountains out of molehills. Don't see monsters where there is none. Okay. So just see it as that you can follow the path. You don't have to climb the mountain. You might be ambitious, but you know take your time take your time follow the path don't see the big monsters on the <laughs> on the road so there might be some issues but don't make more of it than it is so if you don't want to get partnered up that's fine so don't make a problem out of it you've got free will then we've got number 10 the wheel the wheel it's called the wheel here the wheel of fortune again this is mind-blowing do it like that so I can move the cards about you've got the wheel here so it's the same meaning what goes around comes around the karma what goes up must come down you if you've done good you'll get it back three times threefold if you've done bad you'll get it back threefold if somebody's done you bad you know it comes back threefold now this is an amazing picture because these these cards you can see so much it's got rough rough edges you know it's skin it's not a t-shirt but it that is what they make in the olden days from skin and you, or, or from plants weeds you can see the corn hanging out there so you might be feeling roughed at the edges but 10 is an ending to difficulties it means a new beginning you might be going up a step in a career or in a relationship Ooh, nice one clear the problems though we've all got our ups and downs the wheel does go forwards and upwards okay so there could be promotions there could be a relationship the next step in the relationship you could be moving home you could be going on holiday Okay, there is a new beginning because a 10 becomes a 1. And you've got 19 here, the tower. And the tower in Lenormand means ambition. Well, you might want to reach the top and get your victory. Like, put out the flag. You might have passed your exams, who knows? Or got a promotion and you're happy about it. You have worked hard, but did you forget the people around you that supported you? and love you well it, then it could be lonely at the top so don't forget the people around you and here you can see that the tower is built on a proper foundation okay and here you've got a ghost memories you might think how difficult it was to get to the top you might be moved um, and this card according to the author this could also mean a mature man you might be meeting a mature man okay or a mature man could be your father or an uncle that you that you haven't seen for a long time and that you would you're remembering the times that you were together or that you met okay so you might go and see this mature man you might be going on holiday to see this mature man Okay, awesome. He might be the key to unlock your information. Okay, number 19 becomes a 10 again. New beginning and ending. You might be moving to high rise. Okay, now I also keep in the back of my mind the Tower of the Tarot, where the lightning is striking it and the top of the tower falls off and all the people so be careful that you don't lose any friends like I said remember the people that love you and support you okay because when you are at the top it can be very lonely 
that was on Wednesday and for Friday we have the Woodward the Woodward is justice the judge doesn't he look awesome now I don't see any scales in this card but he's got a lynx on his head and it's also the card for Libra so it might be somebody that's librarian that you are meeting a mature man because he looks mature look at it and he's got um, and li uh, air signs stand for wisdom uh, communication he's, they've got the gift of the gab um, justice honesty clarity so you might be seeking advice from an older man a mature man so that he's got life experience and he's got knowledge so that he can clear up some issues for you that are locked away boom okay this could be a medical advisor this could be a judge or an advocate a lawyer a bookkeeper because this is mind and this is in practice okay theory and practice okay that's where you want to keep the balance use your common sense okay before you put it into practice now <laughs> you've I, I love it I love this the, the humor in these cards okay you've got um, the star you might be wishing that you want a home your a house of your own or somewhere to live well it's going to come to fruition you've got 16 and that's a 7 you're in the spotlight something is being illuminated perhaps you will get justice with an issue or a situation so that you perhaps uh, you might be claiming something a damage in the home because we see high-rise here and we've got the tower here because these are definitely flats or apartments three-story apartments perhaps because I see three possibly four okay so your wish might be coming true perhaps there was uh, an issue in your contract um, but you got that sorted out with the um, advice and you've uh, or uh, you've got you you settled and you've signed this contract and got a partnership okay being employed is also a partnership because your boss is your partner okay so you finally can buy that house or something legal signing contracts to buy the house or renting a house then you've got the six of vessels that's the six of cups and you can see six cups standing there you might be reminiscing about the past somebody from the past might be coming back and bringing you a gift <coughs> now in this deck we've got 42 cards and you've got two cards outside the 36 cards okay the ghost memories the same as the six of pentacles and it's lying underneath the pentacles so you're a bit out of balance because it's 41 how do your memories affect you whether you are nostalgic or haunted by past actions you need to assess the ghosts in your world or in your mind this card suggests that memories of the past are currently affecting how you see yourself in the world and may be preventing you from moving forward unrestricted living in the moment with gratitude is suggested so be grateful for what you have move on if you can move on and don't make problems like in the past because this is literally the past if you look at it that way this is the present and this is your future so in order to move on let the past go learn from the past by all means perhaps there is an older mature man that did something in the past <coughs> and has uh, and is do or doing things now okay 
So don't take the old with you, only the knowledge and the experience. Make your own path, make your own memories. They're going to be beautiful memories. Now, like I said, I can also do the reading like this. It doesn't matter how the cards lie. <coughs> Remember, this could be a reading for months. This could be a, a general... It's really food for thought. So, again, you've got the wish card here, the Nine of Pentacles. Okay. Beautiful. We did see the star in the crystal, and you've got the star there. And that means wish goal. So, again, the crystal was clear. You've got the hand, and the hand means destiny. Which way are you planning to go? Are you going to stay stuck in the past and see everything as a problem? Or are you going to let go of the past and move on? <coughs> like you can see, all everything is charted out and has meanings. Like a map. Sorry. I will read this because uh, these do have different meanings. And I have I only had them last week from the author. Hand, destiny, what is your destiny? Although we can exercise free will during our lives, there are many things that are believed to be predetermined, pre-planned. Before you came to this plane, and I do believe in that, and beyond our control, when this card appears, look to the surrounding cards to de determine what appears to be your fate, as opposed to what is in your control. Your fate is that justice will be done, okay? That you have to let the past go. Don't make problems out of everything and go into issues. Learn from your past. Le remember where you come from, ancestors, uh, the ghosts to me also means ancestors, remember where you came from, remember that you are not alone, the angels are with you, perhaps, there might, perhaps I'm getting to see now, you've got the anchor and you've got the wheel, so there might be somebody in the past, your ancestors, grandfather, grandmother, uncles, whatever, it could have been a woman, that used to be working on a ship. Perhaps that's the secret that you don't know about. So go back into the family history. Amazing. Because we've got the mature man here, and we've got the mature man here, but it could also be a lady. This could be you, but it could also be a lady. Okay. Perhaps a woman from your past might be coming back and bringing you a gift. Oh, wow, I love this reading. It's wacko that you've got wishes in, in the cards. You've got wishes um, in the crystal ball. Let's have a look. Yes, if somebody has done you wrong, okay, that's the karma card, justice will be done. Absolutely. Lovers means love. You might be forming partnerships, but you might, um, a best friend from the past might come back. You might see it as an issue. So, you know, don't worry about that. Talk it through. Talk it through. Keep the communication going. You know what you can do. You can so always say no. Okay? Don't let ghosts from the past haunt you. Okay? And that's beautiful. Because that's what the message is. Somebody might be coming back, but don't let those issues that were there, because you, you might have broken up after a row, uh, uh, don't let those ghosts bug you and rule your life. Just say no. If you don't want to be friends, just say no. Okay, stay with the program, Cancer, and stay on track. Don't make mountains out of molehills, because it's coming towards you. 
your wish or goal is coming towards you because you've worked hard enough for it, okay? <clears throat> you've got the six of six, so you are in balance. You've got an ending. You've got an angel number 11 here, so there is a doorway. New beginnings, endings, balance. Okay, awesome. I love you and take care. Be blessed and I hope you will have that dog if that's your wish. That you want a dog, then I hope you will get it. Open your solar plex and enjoy life. Love and light. Love and light to you and enjoy I hope you've enjoyed this video. Please share this video with family and friends and give us the thumbs up thank you very much I appreciate it very much you make this channel as well what it is with together we do and with all the other cyber angels when you join in the life remember English is Monday and Friday and if you can speak Dutch right away then you're welcome on Wednesday as well then it's the Dutch evening take care my darlings ciao ciao